Because if you would have sold then, it wouldn't have been tangible money. It wouldn't have, it would have been it would have been stocks and it would have been this and it would have been that. Sure, you would have walked away with a nice lump sum of something, but like if, if I own a startup and someone wants to buy it, if I'm not gonna be set for life on physical money, yeah, I'm not gonna sell it because it makes no sense. Yeah, it makes no sense to do that. So yeah, um, so Dig was, ended up being sold for guess how much? Um, the co okay, it was acquired by the company Betaworks. Guess for how much? For some reason, I feel like it's, it's going to be less low, way low. than what he... How much? I, I want to hear a guess. 25 million. Nope. Lower? 5 million. Low? Really? 1 million dollars. Nope. What? $500,000. Correct. Really? Right there. Five hundred thousand dollars. It was it was acquired by BetaWorks. I know you guys are big fans, but what a moron! I, oh, <laughs> no, no, I agree. At one, like I See, said, at one point it was close to five hundred thousand dollars. That's right, thank you. Awesome. But, but you want to know why? You, there are a lot of other things that are kind of similar to that now. Like you know, you read those. There's articles, Reddit you and, see a bunch and of stuff. I mean, it, it doesn't, slash dot barely is alive. Pinterest have like a thing on you know articles now too, or something. Pinterest is really big right now. I haven't yeah. really looked into it because I could give a shit either, about Pinterest. But um, I give a lot, shit about Pinterest. A lot of women seem to use it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, it's like Yelp for women. Right. Which I thought Yelp was Yelp for women. You know, I kind of yeah. see, kind of see it like a Tumblr or Tum. Is that what it's called? Yeah, 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 Tumblr yeah. for women. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, most most of the people that I know who use it too is always yeah. posting like dresses see, or whatever. But see, that's what happened. Is so many other things kind of came about and. You know, you read a news article and you see all these links to things that are similar to Dignation towards the end of those articles. And so clearly they waited too long. And See, but that's that the thing. Happened. He did wait too long, but he got to do everything the way he wanted to do. Yeah. And that's what right. mattered to him. And, and, and even because of that, he got so many sponsorships from it. He's earned so much revenue from doing it all on his own. Props to him for doing it his way. He, I just I wish he would have sold when he could have made more money. But at the same time, you know what? At that same it time, doesn't really matter because he became an angel investor and he had, he started. Had more, you know what, though? He, his, his passion for Dig is gone. So as long as he can make more money than he ever put into it, I'm sure he's fine with that. Here's the thing. Yeah. Though, if you're going to offer that kind of money for something, then clearly, clearly you have some pull. So no matter what, I would just say, look, if I'm going to sell it, I still have a ton of creative control and it's still my thing. He could have easily thrown that in there. Yeah, he could have, but they wouldn't have offered the same money. I mean, Maybe not. Yahoo, Yahoo and Google specifically wanted to buy it the same way Google bought YouTube. Yeah. And the same way Yahoo News bought, they bought something. What did they, do you remember? Um, Yahoo? Yeah. Uh, I want to say about Delicious. Yeah. I think. The same I could way be they wrong. That and just kind of fold Delicious? It what is that? the same thing. It's sort of the same thing. It was actually, I think, more almost kind of like a delicious or it's, it's Pinterest what, in a way too. It's, it's what it's what inspired Kevin Rose to make a better social news site. So it's like an RSS feed, basically. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. So yeah, I mean, can you believe it after all that? I mean, I mean, yeah, but give props to him because he got to do it his own way, and he still got yeah. to earn as much money as wonder, he would have, I think, I if even Albrecht, if he didn't sell it. I wonder if Albrecht gets a cut just because of the only reason. Honestly, after they, no seriously, after they left screensavers. Well, no, Dig Nation, Dig Nation is different than it was. Dig. It was yes, but the only reason Dig even got got more popular was because they were doing Dig because Nation. of the show, yeah. And by the way, interesting news: Has Alex said yes to that show yet in South by Southwest next year? Uh, I didn't look up. I didn't if check he, it. If he does, we have to go. If he going. does, I'm we have to go. Going. Where at? South by Southwest oh, in, in Austin, yes. I believe, right? You yeah, yeah, Austin. We gotta drive. We have to road, road trip, trip it. it. No, I'm just speaking because, you know, Mike isn't a fan of flying. Road tripping it would be awesome. I would rather road trip it, to be honest. That's not that's not too bad. I've been down that way. I don't have a problem with road trips at all, man. The story, yeah. dude, we, we would be able to do a show without a format, without news, for like three weeks if we road trip to Texas. Like, we would have to do a video <laughs> blog of some kind or something. Like, have stories for days. We have to we have to record a show on the way to South by Southwest if we yeah. did that. But if you, I mean when I saw you tweet that, that if Alex Albrecht says we're doing a show at South by Southwest 2013, I there is no doubt I am in. I am going. I am fucking going. All right, the settles here. We are going to Austin if they do it. Yeah, it's like in spring, right? Real quick, Alicia Sacamone. That was the girl. Yeah.